Uh, but we are now putting the focus on KFC and Pizza Hut operator Devyani International. They just reported their fourth quarter numbers a while ago. Mangalam is joining us with all the details. Well, for Pizza Hut and KFC operator Devyani International, if you just took a look at uh, their reported numbers, you know, they might not tell you the entire picture. So let's break all the numbers down for you. And as a result of which, the stock also was rather volatile immediately as the numbers were reported. The revenues grew about 38 percent, 1,047 crores. The EBITDA grew by about 15 percent at around 172 crores. On the bottom line, the company reported a loss of 7.5 crores, and this compares with a profit of 60.7 crores. Let's talk about the top line first. The acquisition of KFC Thailand was something that aided the top line. A 38% growth is what the company reported out there. Remember, the company had acquired KFC Thailand Ops in December 2023. Uh, it's a joint venture that they did with Temasek as well. Why is it that the EBITDA, and net, and EBITDA margins and net profit lower? One, exceptional expense on uh, you know account of the devaluation in the Nigerian currency has taken off around 42 crores. Secondly, the employee expenses have increased, one, because of the consolidation. The second part is because the company uh, had ESOPs of close to around 1.87 lakh shares, which got exercised. And the third part, because of this expansion and acquisition, depreciation, which is a non-cash expense, has increased from 78 crore to about 125 crores as well. That's about the reported numbers. Now the internals. Some of them tell you that there is still a lot of weakness in the QSR space in India. Why do I say that? Because KFC India, which was growing for the company, has actually seen a same-store sales decline of 7%. Pizza Hut has actually seen a decline of around 14% on a same-store sales basis. Costa India and Van Gogh are the only two properties which are doing well for them. And that's something that the company has been adding stores to as well. Costa India, for instance, in the fourth quarter, they've added around 25 stores. Van Gogh as well, which, uh, you know, uh, uh, serves South Indian food, is up around nine stores in the fourth quarter. KFC, they added six stores and Pizza Hut India, about two stores itself. So suffice to say, the numbers actually were muddled by this acquisition. So any growth out there going forward would be important to watch out for. But most importantly, recovery in the Indian urban consumption would be extremely crucial, more so in the pizza and uh, KFC verticals for the company. Thank you so much, uh, Manglam, for you know going through the details of uh, this particular result set. You know, it's been a very volatile stock, but the stock has now come back near the flat line. Uh, a couple of other stocks, you know,